Hey everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbook needs and more. I always have to say and more because May just has that shop jam-packed with so many wonderful things that you are going to just absolutely love it. I'm going to do another home deck kind of a project um, just for fun and Again, you know, I have these leftover pieces, little bits, little strips here and there. I don't have a full sheet of paper left except for one uh, 12 by 12 that has the journaling cards on it and one 6 by 6 that has the journaling cards on it. And I would like to use those for um, a cute little two little mini books. So we are going to do that. Um, but in the meantime, I saw these cute little boxes at Dollar Tree. And I, I'll tell you, they're not in the best of shape. You know what I'm saying? Like there's some wood here that looks like it's is uh, overlapped. But for a dollar, what do you expect? That's how I look at it. So I thought, wouldn't it be cute to put a, like a little paper scene in here and then maybe put some of the cutouts out here to kind of make it look dimensional. Um, that is my thought process. These have cutouts, um, but of course I'm going to be covering these up so you won't see them. I'm going to be using a combination probably of my glue gun and my um, art glitter glue. I think I'm going to have to use both on this project. So let's get started. Now, if you don't have a Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby has little boxes like this. I know that um, Michael's has boxes like this. So everybody's measurements are probably going to be different than mine because of the fact that I got this at the Dollar Tree. And if you can't find yours at the Dollar Tree, um, you're going to have a problem keeping up with my measurements. Um, so just just letting you know that. So I did pre-cut a bunch of stuff in preparation for this, trying to. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my inside of my box. Whoa, there goes my thing again. I keep grabbing it. Not good. Okay, inside of my box. If you're using the Dollar Tree box, I'll give you my dimensions. This is six and a quarter by four and three eighths. And then this is the six by six sheet of paper. And I cut this down to four and two eighths. Just so that I could have most of the picture on it. Now. I will ask you to forgive me in advance. My hands are shaky. I have to take my inhaler um, for my pneumonia. So I'm just letting you know in case you're like, why are her hands shaky? You know, it's okay. <laughs> it's just, I wouldn't be able to breathe too good if I uh, didn't take the inhaler. So I chose that. And I, but I still wanted to do some projects. You know, it's Thanksgiving weekend. I didn't get a chance to ask you all how your Thanksgiving was. I hope it was great. Now the two inside flaps here, these are four and three eighths by one and a half. And the mats are four and two eighths by one and three eighths. Let me leave that out. So in case you, I'm going to probably be measuring a lot. It's starting to get a little darker here out now. So I might flip on my light. So hold on one second, guys. Let me just glue this. And then I want to flip on my light because now we're not dealing with the, uh, <laughs> we're not dealing with the sunlight blocking our view anymore. We're dealing with this getting darker so and I want you to be able to see so just bear with me for a second I didn't realize it was getting so dark and now I'm just cutting away and measuring and trying to figure it all out and there we go that's better so now we have a little bit of light okay 
and then the bottom of the box and the top of the inside lids are six and a quarter by one and a half and then these are six by one and three eighths for these and again if i'm if i'm saying the measurements too fast just pause it guys and and re-watch it or take notes that's what i like to do when i'm working on projects i'll just pause it take a note i never ever and this might be good advice for you i never ever do a project simultaneously while i'm watching a video because chances are the person making the tutorial, me in particular, will make a mistake on a measurement or something and then you've ruined your project. So I always say, watch the whole video once, watch it again if you have to, but there we go. All right, so this is gonna go inside. Ooh, how cute that looks. All right, so let me do my pieces first. And for these, I am going to use hot glue. I, I said I was going to use hot glue, and I meant it. I am going to use it. And you could paint this box, too, if you so choose to do so. You know me with painting. Unless my hubby can do it for me, I'm not doing it. And my glue is probably drying up already. There we go. Mm. It's a little crinkly. I don't like that, but I think I'll lay the glue down for this. I think I'll lay the glue down first. And then put my piece of paper and I do have a slight wooden border around just in case you're wondering just a slight nothing major okay there we go with these pieces And that's going to cover up that star, which we want. I that got to kind of slide in. I probably should have did the sides first. Hmm. I'll have to just stick it under there. There we go. This I waited a little bit, so I might have to re-glue this one because I didn't give, I gave my, I didn't give myself enough time to get that set and it's already pulling up so let me just put a little more glue in that one just so it stays and you could use the art glitter glue on this as well if you really wanted to um it would be okay i'm just not doing that There we go. And this is such a quick project. All right. So see, now we have the inside all done. Very nice. And then we can put our centerpiece in. It's interesting. The centerpiece, I don't even think we got a glue. Because we added those other things, it's, look, staying put. So I'm not even going to glue it. So doesn't that look so sweet already? A little shadow box. Okay, so now we're going to move on to these. Um, these long pieces here. And I'll give you the measurements for... I don't know why I made so many. Oh, I, you know what I was thinking? The inside. Okay, that's okay. All right. These are... 
Do I have one with the measurement on it? Yes. These are six and a half by five eighths. And then these are six and a quarter by... No, I'm sorry. One and five eighths. I didn't see my little one in pencil there. So six and a half by one and five eighths. And then these are six and a quarter. Actually a little bit more than, no. Yeah, six and three eighths by one and a half. Okay. So that's for uh, these. And I actually made an extra set and didn't need an extra set. But. I was thinking the inside, but the inside dimensions are smaller. So see, again, if I would have told you initially, we would have been wrong. So <laughs> we don't want to be wrong with this. And I might try the art glitter glue on the outside and see how I like it. that and here's this one and again you can see this is a great project for scraps love it this one kind of messed up a little bit I didn't even I didn't make it as even so I'm gonna put this one on the bottom here <laughs> I'll put that one on the bottom because I'm not happy with how it looks and I've never put art glitter glue onto wood, but I know you can. So let's try it. Mm -hmm. There we go. And again, I use the black background because everything I've done with this collection, I've used the black. So I kind of wanted to keep with the theme. Oh, yeah, that worked out good. Okay, now I'll put this one, whoop, glue strings, put this one on the top here. And Dollar Tree, I don't know if you, if you have a Dollar Tree by you, you probably noticed they really stepped up their craft section. They have glue sticks, they have, uh, glitters they have all kinds of wooden pieces which are so cool oh i love this i just love it okay and then the side pieces are five eighths by four and five eighths and then the mats are four and a half by one and a half So this must be this must be one and five eighths. Yeah, one and five eighths, not five eighths. One and five eighths. There we go. And last one. This can be a quickie, guys. I'm trying to do some quickie ones. Get some up there. For you guys to do i like to have um some simple projects not everybody wants to sit and do a book and i do love this glue strings and the art glitter glue is doing wonderful on the wood. Just in case you are curious, it's doing wonderful. I didn't even have to use the hot glue. Didn't even have to use it. This is so cute, guys. I hope you make one of these. Because this would just look so cute somewhere with your decorations. 
you know, on a little table. It's adorable. Now, for the back, I have two black pieces of paper. And I'm just covering the back with these two pieces of paper. And I'm using two because I had two left over. And so I just thought, you know what, let me just use what I have. Um, these are six and a half by three and a half, but you, you probably won't have to use as big a one for the second one. Um, I just wanted to cover the back too. But I don't care if they overlap a little because um, I'm not worrying about that. And I'm just going to put this one right on top of it. I didn't even take off the label. <laughs> Dollar Tree label. Can't even take it off. All right. And then I had this extra piece of paper and I just thought I'd center that in the back on the back there. Just, you know, I mean, I guess I could put it like that and put a word here, but you're really not going to see the back. So I'm just going to put this centered. I just had this extra piece. Again, I'm just utilizing scraps at this point um, just to have something there okay now i think we're done with our art glitter glue so now we have it all done like that now what i'd like to do is maybe add some of the cut apart pieces and i'll show you what i want to do with those and i would if i were you i would use all art glitter glue um, I do see a little bumpiness on that bottom um, where I didn't glue it fast enough and I don't like seeing that. Um, so use your art glitter glue for the whole thing. But I was thinking to put like little stuff like this, like here. So like where the tree is, put that there. Maybe put the this guy here and just glue it on the edges you know maybe put this on the top here or this on the top I was thinking of putting this on the top with the star I don't know if I'm going to use this well maybe but see you have to make sure that when you glue this you have to make sure that it's able to stand so you can't glue this below, unless you were going to hang it, you can't glue this below this strip. So if you really want this, which I do like, I have to figure out a way to get it on there like that, probably, probably like that. Yeah. And then I think I'll put him like that. Okay. All right. Hold it. Now this is where the hot glue is going to definitely come in. Go. Put that down. Ooh, can you see I'm shaky? Probably not the best idea to be using hot glue when you're shaky, but it's okay. It's okay. Now that went over a little bit. So what I have to do is I just have to trim this poinsettia a little bit. I mean this flat. Well, yeah, I guess it is a poinsettia. I'll trim that a little bit. I think that other piece is okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe just trim a tiny pinch. Yeah. Now it's okay. All right. Alrighty, so now we got this guy, and I thought put him there. Maybe move him over a little bit. Now I'm just going to glue his 
legs on the bottom and then I'm going to glue him to that flower I just put once I position him where I want him. There we go. And then I can just put a little dot of glue back there. And that will hold him in place. And then I want my tree here. I like my tree there. So I'll put a little bit of glue on the bottom here. Just making it a little bit dimensional, you know? Which I love. I mean, look, just look at how cute that is. I love it. And then I was thinking of putting this on the top. Woo! And putting this, but putting the star inside, but with a pop dot or a foam piece. And then I might use a word because we have those words, don't forget. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't use the star. I don't know. I kind of think I'm not going to use the star. I think I'm just going to center it and put it like that. So let me put this back. I'm not going to use the star, but I think I'm going to use a word on the bottom there. There we go. Let me see what kind of word I can use. Hold on. Because I do have some left. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Here comes Santa Claus. I don't think... I was hoping this might fit, but I'm not sure. I think it's going to be too long. I'm taping. I'll be right out, hon. Uh, see, family is the real gift of Christmas, but that is too long. Bummer, because I like that. But that's okay. We have other words to choose from. We can oh, Christmas cheer. We can use Christmas cheer. that like that and just glue that down okay I like that and again guys this is just a fun little project oh my gosh this is so stinking adorable look at it don't you want to just like oh <laughs> I held it up so high you couldn't even see it. I'm so sorry. Do you want to just like live in this little diorama thing we have going on? It's so adorable. Oh, I can't stand it. I love it. I just love it. I hope that you guys do too. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. Um, I was thinking maybe... Huh, we do have on my cut apart sheet, I do have a baby poinsettia. Let me see. Let me cut this and see if I like it to go over that green. And I have a baby present. So let's see. Let's just see what we can do here. Let me just check it out real quick. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try to fussy cut these super fast. What? Came right out of my hand. One of these days I'm going to have that, uh, what do you call it, the scan and cut. And then I'll just be able to have them cut out already for me, which would be very nice. Hmm. 
I see, I see a lot of crafters that have that and it is really, really cool. Really cool. Mm, that little piece in there. Hold up. Come out now. There we go. There's that. Now let's cut this real quick. I was thinking of adding some red to that green. Like a little shadow box. I just love it. I think it is so cute. just like a little scene. These kind of projects are so much fun. All right. So see, this is what I was thinking of adding this to here, which I think I am going to do. And I think I will do that with a pop dot. To even give it more dimension. And put just like that. Cute. Now, the present, I wonder if I could put the present sliding under there. Uh, I do kind of like that. So, let me... I don't know how it managed to slide under there. I must not have glued it all the way to the edge. I do want this to go on top. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right, this is going to be a tricky one, guys. that there and then I'm just trying to maneuver my glue gun get a little bit of glue under there and then get this Christmas cheer glued down better and then I want to just glue my tree to the gift a little bit. Ow, that's hot. There we go. Oh, much better. Oh, I like that. I, I just like it. It added a little something there. Look at how sweet. Do we need something right here too? I just don't know. Something little. How about this little star? Hold up. I love all these cut aparts. I just think it's so cool. This paper is from Poland. I don't know if I said that when I first did the review of it, but this paper, oh my gosh, this paper feels so incredible. It has such a nice weight to it and it feels so like, soft I, I don't know how to explain it i mean soft is probably not the word but smooth it's the it's not like doesn't have like a grit at all to it it's so nice and it really makes it easier for cutting oh yeah look at put that right there for the christmas cheer yes christmas cheer yay here we go Oh, yeah. 
adorable. So there you guys have it, our little shadow box. I think that came out absolutely wonderful. I originally thought I was going to put maybe some, some of these on the top. I got these from Hobby Lobby, this, uh, what do you call these berries? But I think that's overkill. I don't like that. So I'll save those for something else. But look at how stinking sweet. I mean, maybe... No, it's not too wide. Too, wide. too bad. That would have been cute to put a little sleigh up there with a little Santa in it. But I don't have a Santa to scale, so that wouldn't work. Um, but if you did, maybe you could do that. But there you guys have it. A cute little shadow box. I absolutely love it. Christmas cheer. So there we have it. Look at the little nutcracker. It's so cute, guys. I hope it's coming off as cute in, on the video as it is in person because it really is absolutely precious. So there you have it. Another project using the Minte papers. We're going to keep going. You know it. Um, I'll probably be doing some more tomorrow. I have to rest now, though, because I'm getting tired. Um, but we'll definitely do some more tomorrow. And um, I think tomorrow we'll work on the little mini books. And then eventually we'll get to the next paper pad. <laughs> eventually well you know we're in no hurry we're having fun and it's you know christmas projects and I, I just i don't know i like to take my time and have some fun with it i'm really enjoying working with these papers i'm having so much fun don't forget michelle with two l's dt gets you 15 percent off of any purchase you make so if you are wanting this paper after seeing all the beautiful things we're making with it I would suggest you hurry and get it because I don't know how much she has left I used the 6x6 pad I used the 12x12 pad in all of the projects that we did I also got the chipboard uh, sticker sheet and I did get the die cuts so in case you're wondering what you need, those are the pieces that I got to use for this. And um, I'm just so happy with the, the whole results of everything we've made so far. I hope that you guys like this. I hope you make a shadow box for yourself, even if you don't use this collection. Any collection would work. And I know that you're going to enjoy it. So you guys know what I'm going to say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye.